2016's Your Name is one of the most well-known animated movies ever made. And that's on top of the cacophony of awards and nominations it has. It did at one point hold a number one spot on Mal, but I mean, what anime can't get the number one spot? At least before the Brotherhood gang does what they do best, review bomb everything that even approaches their god. Anyway, my point is that this movie is overflowing with good praise from audiences and critics alike, but was it that good? This isn't really an analysis of the movie, but let's start with the most basic facts that can't really be denied. The movie looks good. This is more or less what's become expected of a Shinkai film these days, but Your Name was the first movie to look like this. Everything is cohesive and nothing really pulls you out of the experience, except for this one scene that always makes me laugh. Next, the audio is great. Radwimps did well, no complaints there. The voice actors also did well, but I would have liked the lead voices to have a little bit more punch to them. My problem with Your Name lies in its writing, specifically the character writing. One thing I love in a story is being dropped into a world that already exists. When a world feels like it's been around for a long time and you're only witnessing a fraction of history, it feels more authentic and much easier to immerse yourself. An extremely important element to making this feeling work is the supporting characters. Main characters obviously have cool and unusual stuff happening around them, so it's up to the supporting characters to patch the holes and make the world feel real. Since Your Name has main characters that are never together, there are two sets of supporting characters. Let's call the characters from Taki's side the supporting characters, and the characters from Mitsuha's side the supporting characters. Let's first examine the supporting characters, as in those from Taki's side. Why exactly are his friends here? Taki's friends only exist to show that he has friends. That's cool and all, but they don't really add anything to the story. I can't even tell you any of their character traits aside from nice, I guess. They follow him on his search for Mitsuha, and they help Mitsuha and Taki's body figure out how to get to work in school. That's it. Now let's examine the supporting characters, as in those from Mitsuha's side. Mitsuha's friends at least have more purpose to the story than Taki's friends, because they're responsible for saving their town from the comet about to wreck their shit. During the climax, the most important part of the story, Sayaka and Tashigawara take charge and lead the town's evacuation. Tashigawara blows up some stuff, and then Sayaka broadcasts an alert across town. What foreshadowing did we have for this? Well, Tashigawara was told by his dad that he'll be learning explosives near the beginning of the movie, and Sayaka was said to be involved in the broadcasting club literally 20 minutes ago. You don't actually see them doing any of these things, and it feels like a cop-out. It leaves the climax feeling unearned, and I just don't like it. Look at Shinkai's next film, Weathering With You. Natsumi is shown getting around on a motorbike all the time, and this comes back in the climax. Nagi is shown to be popular with the ladies multiple times, and this comes back in the climax. Basically every single part of Mr. Suga's character comes full circle to play a crucial part in the climax. Weathering With You's climax makes sense and feels earned. These supporting characters have been living their lives and their talents and abilities happen to be useful at this moment. Am I saying Weathering With You is better than your name? Yes. The supporting characters of your name flop, but the main characters are fine. That said, a world can't just be built on main characters. Well, I mean, it can be. My favorite Shinkai film is 5 centimeters per second, and look at this malcast. Three main characters and two named supporting characters, who are hard to even call supporting. They have maybe three minutes of combined screen time. This makes the entire world of 5 centimeters per second extremely desolate and lonely. This sets an absolute flawless world for the story to take place in. 5 centimeters per second builds slowly, almost dragging its feet as it goes. This is a film about people growing apart over time. The main characters' interactions fizzle out, and they become strangers to each other. It's a story that drains all hope as it goes. Clearly, this is a complete 180 from what your name tries to portray. Makoto Shinkai is a machine when it comes to anime creation. Look at his work on Voices of a Distant Star, for example. It's not the most amazing thing to ever come out, but Shinkai basically did all of it. Alone. My point is that Makoto Shinkai is good at what he does, but I don't think your name is the culmination of his work. If you want to, you could poke at smaller issues in the movie too. How exactly did neither Taki nor Mitsuha realize they were in different times? There are calendars and phones, surely they would have seen the year. Mitsuha's dad is campaigning for some political position. Is there no Mitsuha's dad 2016 poster anywhere? Speaking of Mitsuha's dad, how did an absent father realize that his daughter was not being herself? How exactly did a child, teenage girl, and old lady climb up and down a mountain in one day? Despite having phones and knowing each other's numbers, did Taki and Mitsuha really not think about just firing a text off to the other until it was too late? They clearly tried to pass notes to each other by writing, so why not just text? Admittedly, these points are very nitpicky. All things considered, what do I think of your name? 
I give it a solid 7.5, with the prestigious note of watch it. But if you can't, then it's not a big deal. Maybe this video has made it seem like your name is bad, but it's not. It's good. 7.5 is good. It has an interesting plot, unique supernatural story elements, a cute ending, and is just well made overall. And really, that was Shinkai's goal in the first place. He said in an interview with the Mainichi that the purpose of the film. <laughs> Let me try that again. The purpose of the film was not to make things consistent. In that limited time of 107 minutes, I needed to have people coming out of theaters saying that was interesting. It's a very popular movie, and decent enough for anyone to like it without needing to think too hard about it, and that's a good thing. It even has a pretty good dub for those who don't want to read subtitles. For many people, your name might have been the first time they realized that anime could be more than Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, and tentacle porn. Bringing a new medium to more people is great because there are so many fantastic stories that get written off because anime is weird and I don't want to be associated with that. This mentality has been falling over the years and I'm sure that your name has helped with it. But I just don't think it's the 27th best anime of all time, nor the 83rd best movie of all time. I'm on my way to you to sing up to